Hello everyone, it's Revealing Tech with another video for you, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the iPad 2 which I bought on lunch day in London. So the video is going to be split into two parts, namely physical aspects of the device and under the hood aspects of the device. Uh, the most important thing you'll notice about the iPad 2 is obviously the fact that it's much slimmer than the iPad 1. I don't have my iPad 1 to show you, but take one and compare them. Um, obviously it's slimmer than the iPhone 4 as well. Another important aspect of the device is the rear-facing camera and the front-facing camera. Common in most Apple devices is the 30-pin connector, um, the up and down volume buttons, the orientation lock, or now you can use it to mute the volume and the uh, headphone jack or sleep button. So now that I've showed you what is around the device and on the back of the device, let me show you what the iPad 2 really is about. As you may know, it has a dual core processor and definitely feels so. I'm going to start a few apps for you to show how quickly they start and maybe go and demonstrate a few. But So, um, you might have noticed that a garage band started rather quickly and you can just go through and select an instrument and everything is smooth and fast. Um, then, well, a simple application, Twitter. Uh, nothing too demanding, I guess. Um, and then there's GTA, which works quite well. So, I think I'm going to have to cut it here until it starts, because I haven't used this, just installed it for the purposes of the video. So as you can see, uh, it's, it works quite well, and the graphics are amazing. Well, as amazing as GTA graphics can be. Um, so let's just try driving the car. Uh, I, I'm, I've never practiced starting a car like this, so please forgive me for my slowness. Or have I? Well, let's not get into this. Um, okay, that's pretty much it. Um, so, apart from the um, processor, I mentioned that the viewing experience is excellent. So, uh, part of the better viewing experience is that they uh, gave up on the metal edges and brought the screen closer, I mean, the, uh, the glass closer to the screen, making the experience better than what it was on the iPad 1 which admittedly sucked. Um, now for the camera, uh, it has a front-facing camera, uh, that's my cameraman, um, or so he thinks. Um, <laughs> okay, um, the image quality is decent, I guess, as decent as a uh, front-facing camera can be, uh, but what I want to complain about is this. So how bad can it get? But then, even if it's bad, it's not like you're going to be using this as your main camera, is it? So yes, this would be one minus for the iPad 2, but then it's not a deciding point. Um, okay, what else? Uh, it definitely has better speakers, and I'm going to just play a song. Uh, well, Okay, so everyone likes Akon, then just, uh... Okay, that's it for copyrighted music. Another thing I want to complain about is the smart cover. 
Um, why do I want to complain about it? Well, you see those things, those lines here. Um, if I close the smart cover, then open it again, pull it back off, and then close it. You see what I have on the screen? Well, apart from my finger prints, a set of three smudges left by the uh, smart cover. Overall, the iPad 2 is a much better device than the iPad 1. It's faster, it has great screen. Um, I would recommend it to anyone looking to replace a old iPad 1 or perhaps the low-end white MacBook. That's it. Thanks for watching.